Well, Democratic presidential hopeful Robert Kennedy Jr. visited the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona for a first-hand look at where thousands of migrants have been crossing each week. News Nation border correspondent Allie Bradley sat down with Kennedy for an exclusive interview during that visit. Take a listen. What is your takeaway? You know, I, I have a whole kind of confluence of impressions about what I saw. I mean, starting last night, it was like a, a dystopian nightmare with, you know, all of these desperate people flooding across the wall in, in a situation that clearly could have been prevented. And people from all over the world, from Africa, from Uzbekistan, from uh, Senegal, from Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Nepal, Tibet, India, Bangladesh, Peru, Colombia. We saw all of these people in these hundreds and hundreds of people coming across the wall. And it seems so hopeless. And then meeting all of the people of Yuma, the leadership, this extraordinary leadership in this amazing town, um, the people who run the hospitals, the people who run the border clinic, the, the, um, the sheriff, uh, um, and the and you know all of these other people at the food banks who are working as hard as they can to accommodate the problem a problem that was been created by the federal government that local people are being you know forced to hold the bag on we talked to the hospital administrator who spent 23 million dollars last year that is unreimbursed are caring for migrants and are giving migrants the same level of care with the same priority uh, that they treat people who are their relatives in the town. So it's this extraordinary, it's kind of the best part of America and the worst part at the same time. And Robert Kennedy Jr. is already making inroads with some Democratic voters. Recent polling shows 20% yeah. of Democrats support him for the nomination. That's compared to 60 percent for President Biden. So that's significant. He's doing better with the Democratic Party than about, I don't know, how many Republicans are running right now? It's like eight. I know. I can't keep track. Eight of them. But he's resonating and he's been outspoken on a lot of really contentious issues. So it'll be interesting. He's a bit controversial, uh, but <laughs> he is clearly uh, an alternative to the president, uh, President Biden right now. That's a great way to put it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.